Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else, how you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. Now, in this video, I'm going to cover my build that I use in order to do my daily ops solo. So, for the past few days in a row, uh, a couple of you guys were asking, what is that gun that I'm using? What is that build that I'm using to solo and shred everything into pieces? So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you the first three combats with three different uh, daily op uh, bosses so that will be the super mutant the robot boss and the blood eagle boss and you'll see how fast they get shredded afterwards i'll cover my build and once i've done covering my build we will do a fresh uh daily op runs and start to finish so you can see uh how effective this is so let's start wasting time jump right into it Here he comes, once he starts shooting, he makes a mistake, he gets a headshot from my flamethrower and dies. And I ah! Oh my god, I can't believe I made it. No, why are you there? Why are you there? You usually appear from another side. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ah, die, you cockroach! He broke my armor. Ah, yeah! <laughs> Alright, so I hope you enjoyed those uh, boss fights, and uh, I'm pretty sure that by now you, th you might be thinking, okay, this is uh, actually looking pretty interesting. So I'm gonna start off with uh, the weapons. So the weapon that I'm using for uh, the boss fights uh, is my uh, Plasma Flamer and it's um, bloodied, 50% more uh, critical shots and uh, 250 damage resistance while reloading which is pretty really great. The best probably combo uh, for the flamethrower. And in case if they're not cloaked, they're not uh, like uh, you know resilient or stuff like that there's something easy I would use my uh, bloody 3325 uh, the reason is because it kills the enemies with two three shots and in that case I'll be able to loot a lot more uh, ammo like ultra sight because all of this is ultra sight including this one this one goes if the guys are camouflaged because sometimes the camouflage works really bad basically um, they, even they, they shoot, they don't appear back, right? Uh, the second thing is I use this on Resilient as well to take their HP down to its super, like, to its minimum and then just bash them, right? I don't really like grinding on the, the Resilient because you gotta kill with the melee. So usually when it's Resilient, I just do it one time and that's it, I'm done. For that day, I'll play something else. Uh, yeah, so these are the guns that I'm using. Let me show you the armor that I'm using. It's fully Secret Service armor. So it's all unyielding. Uh, this is uh, the cal uh, Calvary, I think. 75% uh, chance to reduce uh, damage by 15 while sprinting. Then we've got, uh, this is not the best piece, and I got some stupid cricket. Frickin' cricket. Cricket schmicket. Oh. So, uh, oops. No. Almost by mistake, nearly destroyed. Uh, sneak, well, in daily ops there is no sneak, so this kind of like makes it pointless, so it's unyielding. Uh, there's no three star, so I need to work on getting some better uh, three star secret servers, but I would prefer maybe to go with Brotherhood once I get all the um, plants from the daily ops and start grinding the living hell of those daily ops to get myself a nice set up and yielding with the. Uh, or secret service I'm not quite sure we'll see what how is it gonna go but so far this is like damage resistance uh, and other stuff is like the best armor is the most resistant as you can s if you saw I was very tanky against the uh, robot boss although he was shredding me and even broke my armor and I was still like alive <laughs> so yeah the robot boss is like I feel is like the hardest one to kill uh, so I'm using the canvas backpack to reduce the weight of all the uh, stim packs that I'm getting because I'm getting a whole bunch of stim packs to be honest, like thousands. I have thousands of stim packs, uh, and I also 
uh, dilute them to get even more stim packs. So I don't have to worry about it. I'll, I'll uh, explain why I need so many stim packs because they actually match with my build that I'm actually running right now. Uh, shielded uh, under armor to get more intelligence to get that slight boost for XP. And uh, that's pretty much it in terms of the gear that I'm using. Now let's go to the Mutations. Mutations I'm planning to get rid of because now we don't get debuffs for having no food, no uh, water. And I can't be bothered like getting all those, uh, you know, food stuff to get those buffs and stuff like that. Um, so I'm not going to be redoing my mutations, but so far it doesn't really bother me, so I'll just keep uh, I keep it as is. So it's adrenaline, adrenaline reaction for more damage, bird bones, reduce fall speed, and minus strength, but more agility, eagle eyes more perception and crit and uh, crit damage egghead for more intelligence more xp uh, healing factor uh, herbivore, war marsupial scaly skin and de uh, speed demon these are my mutations over here and uh, now we've pretty much covered all of that now let's take a look at the perk cards that i'm using so the perk cards barbarian for more uh, defense bandolier to carry more ammo uh, this thing I might change, but I'm using like I like to pick up all the junk now, and just, just scrap it and have a whole bunch of junk. I've been having issues with my junk, like aluminum, don't have a whole bunch of that. I need to regrind a lot of junk again. Uh, blocker to reduce, uh, it's a defensive per, per card basically, it reduces damage from your opponent's melee attacks, so, such as dogs or those robots who deal m melee damage. So, all of those guys. Uh, now, rifleman. Tank, uh, tank killer, rifleman, rifleman, and concentrated fire. This is in order to, for me to make headshots with the flamethrower, which does ridiculous amount of damage to the boss. Uh, rifleman, because uh, both of my guns benefit from this perk card, and I might even gonna change it around and make make my perception go even higher, so I can increase my damage even more, so I can not two three shot, but two shot definitely most of the things, but. I'm still thinking if I should be doing that because as is right now it's actually pretty decent. Uh, Edrance, Lifegiver, Ironclad, Fireproof, Radical, essentially these are defensive perk cards. This is to increase my strength and uh, have the ability to carry more stuff. Since I'm playing Bloodied, why not? Uh, Lone Wanderer reduces damage and AP regeneration, uh, so defensive perk card. Field Surgeon in combination with... Uh, oh. Whoops. In combination with first aid, diluted stim packs, they work more quicker and they recover much more. Plus, this makes it that it recovers even more HP and uh, I do not waste a lot of stim packs. Now, in combined with Born Survivor, uh, which triggers every time I get a bullet. Since my health is always under 20% uh, of HP, he doesn't stim pack himself every time. He stim packs himself as soon as he gets a hit, at least one hit. So stim pack is on and it keeps healing me, so they shoot me, I'm still healing, 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 so it's really nice. Uh, action Boy, AP regen, evasive, more uh, defense. Uh, White Knight, so the armor doesn't break a lot since I don't sneak around. The I do take a lot of shots, and if I don't have the White Knight per card, my armor breaks like within five minutes. And adrenaline reaction, obviously for more damage. Bloody Mess, uh, Serendipity, Ricochet is a really good defensive per card. I'm planning to get it to uh, three star, and I'll remove the uh, Luck of Draw. Basically, luck of the draw repairs has a chance to repair my uh, weapon. Class freak uh, and sergeants never are to be removed because these are. This reduces the negative effect of my mutations, and this prevents me not to lose my mutations or gain anything that I don't want. Uh, but I'm also planning to uh, bring the more critical damage per card instead of bloody mess uh, sometime soon. I just don't have any levels. Uh, to do that change. From the legendary perks, I'm using all of the stats boosters. So as you can see over here, it's charisma, luck, action, uh, agility, strength, perception, and adherence. So that's pretty much is my build. And now as I said, let's do a run from start to finish. We're going to be facing in a burning mine blood eagles uh, who are cloaked. Not the best one that I really like. <laughs>
Alright, so let's go. And by the way, uh, ever since I started using the Flamer, I started playing more of a first person instead of third person. If you've been with me for a long time, you all know that I was playing uh, third person all the time. But with the Flamethrower, I started playing more of a uh, first person. Oh, stupid dog. And by the way, once you're getting to this location, make sure you kill all the melee attackers. Otherwise, they might hit you and you will have to s redo your repair thing. So like for example if you're playing solo you do need uh, to be fast and uh, this map is actually the easiest one to do solo. Uh, the most pain the most painful from all of these is the boroughs because the boroughs there is a pretty lengthy distance between uh, the those alpha bravo sites uh, which makes which makes it if you do one mistake over there that's it you will not get the paladin rank but that's of course if you're playing solo so now I just uh, do your defensive part and uh, the reason why I started even before the new DLC release and stuff like that and why I was uh, playing this mod all the time is because you get a lot of a you, you get a lot of ammo uh, you still get your XP not not like the one you get in the adventure but you still get a lot. Plus, you get, you always have a chance to loot uh, some sort of uh, a legendary weapon. Uh, by the way, doing the daily ops, uh, like most of my top weapons came actually from daily ops. Uh, the other thing is, if I'm not like uh, grinding to get paladin, I usually just don't even pick up ammo. I leave it for the last. So basically, when I kill the last boss. I run through all these locations to pick up all of my ammo and stuff like that so I have more ammo. Uh, so that usually I do that like um, once I'm done with my first run to get the rare rewards. Uh, in this case we won't be getting any rare rewards because I already did this one today and for some reason they're not spawning in a lot of them as they usually do. Where are you guys? So as you see it's just melting these guys no problem. And the final boss goes down really easy. Uh, like the most problematic final boss is the uh, the robot one. He's very tanky for me, <laughs> but I'm tanky as well. I pretty much don't lose damage whatsoever. Uh, right now my HP is actually not even under 20%, so I'm not my I'm not dealing my perfect damage. <laughs> actually, let's get that. Let's fix that. There we go. Now the adrenaline kicks in, I should be doing even more damage. Get the waste. Get out of here. No problem. Let's go. As I said, this one is the mo is the is the best one. Like if you really if you want to get a guaranteed paladin, and if you're doing solo, I prefer Volt 94. It's like the average one. Uh, you can do it solo no problem. Plus everything is kind of close, and uh, the, the visibility for looting afterwards is a lot more clear. Uh, the burning mine. Well, because of all this red thing, especially with these camouflage dudes who drop like the paper bag, it's sometimes really hard to spot. But if you're using a, uh, not your pit boy light, but some sort of a helmet, like a mining helmet or a secret service helmet, uh, you can see the paper bags more clearer. But still, it's not the most convenient thing. But still, uh, with the mask. Because right now I'm using the Secret Service one, it's a lot better. Alright, there. We're, now we're done with this one. Just run all the way down. By the way, if you see a Blood Eagle with the same gun that I'm using, the Plasma Flamer, make sure to kill him quick, otherwise, most probably you're gonna die. Because uh, that gun is very OP. Melts even me in seconds. What the hell is going on? Stupid dog hiding from me. There we go.
go. And done. Seconds. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's see what we got. Legendary scrape! And a crappy legendary. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright Z Clan and everybody else, this is pretty much uh, the end for this video, so I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can react to them. So if you want your comments to be read, make sure not to swear. As simple as that. And if you're new and subscribed, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. If you want to join our community on Discord, feel free to do so. We're over 800 members over there, but make sure to read our rules. The link is down in the video description along with the tutorial video if you are going to get lost because you do need to apply for roles in order to see the chats. And other useful links that you may find of use, such as uh, the link to my Twitch channel where I do my live streams when I can. And uh, Patreon if you feel like supporting this channel uh, all, uh, even more. But anyway, uh, once again, thanks all for watching, all the support, and uh, you all have a good morning, day, and night. Whatever you guys like it at, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. From the